All right. All right, so we're putting on the Kendrick's extrication device. This device is used for the non-emergent removal of a patient from a MVA or some other situation where maintaining C-spine control is necessary for the movement of a patient from where they're at to a location where you can place them on a stretcher. Most commonly is the MVA scene or motor vehicle accident. So we have our victim sitting in the car here. We're going to pretend there's a car around her. So we get on scene, we're going to have our partner get in behind her and take manual C-spine control. <clears throat> this is to keep the patient from potentially injuring themselves. And while they're doing that, we're going to come in, we're going to ask them, are they having any numbness, tingling, or other uh, joint uh, muscle movement problems that could indicate potential injuries uh, when we do this. Also, we're going to measure the patient for a C collar. In this case, we're going to measure the patient. She's going to be a no neck. So we're going to get our C collar adjusted to the right size or get the appropriate size C collar. And we're going to be reaching in, coming around, and we're going to move this around behind the patient. You reach back. The patient does not move. Sometimes your patient wants to help you, instruct them not to. Try not to catch the patient's hair when you have a, a female with long hair because it does not feel good on them. Okay, so we get all this out of the way. And we now have her C collar on and everything's in place. Now, for the Kendrick's extrication device, make sure it is set up for if you try to do this. You want to have your straps to where you can easily get them and pull them down. That would be these long straps right here. We're going to take and maintain C-spine control and control of the patient during this whole process. So you're going to place your hands on her chest. You're going to place a hand on the back, and you're going to lean the patient forward. Now, without removing your hand on her chest, you're going to take your Kendrick's extrication device, and you're going to slide it in behind the patient so that the base of it goes down. So, okay, we're then gonna take and move the patient back. Now, this is not entirely in proper position. As you can see, these are, should be going under the arm. So what we're gonna do is, again, maintaining C-spine control. We're gonna move her forward a little bit further. And we're going to wiggle this down. We're going to have to just have you sit a little bit forward here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we get that slip back in there and then bring her back. At this point, we're going to come in. If you have additional rescuers, have them come in the passenger side to assist you. If not, you're going to have to reach around and bring these wings in. At this point, you're going to take your straps and you're going to bring them around. And at this point, you're not tightening them down. You're just getting them into place so that you don't lose them in the car. And you're going to match green to green, yellow to yellow, red to red. Coming over. And you want them rolled up like this because when the, these are all loose, it's hard to get everything where you need to get it. Particularly on a real car accident where you're having to try to fit through a door. That may not be the same size it used to be. Remember, every time that you move a patient, ask if they've had any sensation change. Check if they're unconscious. to See if there's been any changes in the patient. Okay, so we now have these connected to where they're going to be going. And we're going to tighten them up just a little bit so that they're all kind of where they're going to go. So I kind of have these now where I want them. And we're going to go ahead and the main thing when you tighten these, do not over tighten to where the patient is no longer breathing. Killing your patient in this process does not help. So we're going to tighten. 
tighten, tighten. At this point, we're going to ask the patient, can you breathe all right? Yes. So if they're conscious and they can tell you, you do that. You want to look to see, is, is this on here secure? At this point, we're going to take, and you have these straps that go under the thigh. So you're going to reach down, feed them under the patient's leg, and in a seesaw fashion, you're then going to work this up their thigh, into their groin, till it's up there nice and personal, just like that. It's going to come around, and there's a matching buckle, which the buckle go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Come around and buckles white to white. At this point, you're going to tighten this down, and this is holding on the one on the other, on the other side. Again, if you had a partner that could come in the other side, that's better. But if you can't do it, you don't have access from that side. You're going to have to reach around, pull the other strap. Again, go through the leg. And you're going to work the strap up just like you did before. Reach around, and you're going to buckle it. And then tighten it down. Like so, at this point, we're going to pad any voids behind the head with whatever we have that comes with the screen sheet, or you can use pillows or whatever. Okay, now we come around and either using tape or these nice fancy pre made straps, we're going to come up under the chin, hook on the, the velcro of the folds. Like so. Okay, now she's secured. You have handles on each side. You can now safely rotate the patient, slide them out onto a backboard. Once they're on the backboard, their legs should still be in a sitting position. At this point, you're going to pop the thigh straps and allow the legs to be uh, lowered down onto the backboard and secure them to the backboard as you would normally do so, leaving the KED in place. Oh, and you also check, again, your uh, PMS, peripheral motor sensory and circulation after all these movements.